My name is uh, Priva Namanya WSJ. I am the program leader for the National Urban Research Program. I'm Dr. Arenaito Ivan Kavita, and I am a banana breeder working for the National Banana Research Program of the National Agricultural Research Organization. And uh, we are based at Kawanda. program for, for improving uh, Matoke bananas. This is a, a program that started in the early 1990s on the realization that the, our cooking varieties, the ones that are preferred by farmers, were being affected by a number of pests and diseases and as a result the yield you know, was being affected. So a team of scientists in the early 90s, together with the international partners, we ventured out into the communities to try and assess what the problem was. And the mandate here was to develop and release farmer preferred or end user preferred banana varieties, responding to, responding to the outcries of the farmers that had been facing challenges of uh, pests and diseases, low yields, and uh, you know, all that combined leads to short plantation life, cy life cycle. Improving the bananas by conventional methods is not a one-year job. Our first hybrid, our first improved hybrid, actually came out after more than 15 years. And uh, that's quite a long time. To a layman, I can explain a banana hybrid as, as an outcome or what, what comes out of crossing two bananas. Here you get one banana and another banana and you cross them. When you cross, what comes out? That, that child that comes out of crossing two different bananas is what we call a hybrid. And usually this hybrid has uh, characteristics that are good, that you are intending to put in from the different parents. We have um, up to seven varieties that we have released since 2010. These ones were approved and released by the Ministry of Agriculture through all the procedures and uh, they have gone to communities. Uh, one of them is Cabana 6H, what uh, here people call Chiwangas because it can stay longer. There is Cabana 7H. Uh, these two were released in the, uh, I think in the 20, 20, 2010, early 2010. And uh, then we have five, four more that were released later in 2017. That is Naroban 1, Naroban 2, Naroban 3, Naroban 4. These ones were released in 2017. Then in 2018, we released one more variety, which is Naroban 5. And these hybrids uh, have special traits, like high yielding, uh, resistance to pests and diseases, but also some tolerance to adverse climate conditions such as drought. The target communities were, those banana growing communities, where the disease pressure is very high, for example, the, the high disease pressure areas are mainly around the Lake Victoria Basin, where the altitude is rather low. Our breeding program is directed mostly right now to the farmer, who is at the same time a consumer. So we take these selected bananas, the hybrids, to the farmer. The farmer has a final verdict. It's the farmer to choose what they want. So we take these bananas to the farmer fields, we engage them from different regions. The farmers grow, they look at the plants, they assess, and they choose which one is good for them and in which region. So a decision is between the researcher, the farmer, the regulator, and the, end, the, the representation of the end users. The farmers want a variety that is high yielding, having resistance to pests and diseases, and also tests as good as the traditional varieties. We also look at 
helping the farmer to get the most out of what they grow. In, uh, if you go to places like uh, Nakaseke in Uruero, they are growing a lot of our hybrids. <laughs> Mokasaga village, Monakaseke district. Ateranga and then Nantebe Wakasaga, Banana Farmers Cooperative Society Limited. One of the, the things that we are looking at in, in this breeding improvement process is that the farmer can get the most out of, uh, out of just the bunch, not only for food, but trade. Uh, some of them are being used for making juice. Atene baturetera ensukusa ezikume njala, ezugumire ndwade, eziberanga kalenga emere ya yu nungi dala. Okufana ganira dale ya fea nakasangu au. Emere nkole rawaka, atene nkole rane mooteri bulonji. Atenga tu savinga butuba anga tukoze saga ama toke. Kumange chuwa guchari uliba anga toke nga dene. Kaliri kebi wagu vinji ataga faga naka sangu au. Bibita sobula kubela nago. Neo la mbibina bampe la kunsuku zangi. Site kayobi hapa neba za katonda. Luku baba manjinti toke ya tunzi. Baga waga mama banana. Nga wawo ino ulusuku ilamba dencha akola bulonji nyo. Tokeri gonda, liwoma, ati se liwola mangu. Neri tuwome de. Eche bali bogera, lulie mabegako, bali inga bafakala. Na eka tikala, egenda, e fuki dedala na da, emu 27 in alubani fo. E fuki dedala gana agafi. E toke lirie lirongo semu, liwa dene nga teli liwa angu. Ateli sibo omonue. Eche la teli guwa murusuku. Maga na magana, msana wegu waka. Na magana kama nyo kweska mwende kwa kandila mwusuku. Nelini notirigwa mwusuku. Autubatu gafuna mwenye ate mwusana. Kwa baba bageta nila nyo. Ebola libe lao. Kisa ni mjoi kusia tuwane mbele. Katitoke lili. Itali rongo semu. Kale agamo mwusana nga mpologoma. Gawa atule minuwe nijiba mitono. Nelini notirike ndela minuwe. Eda atuali tufuna butoke. Mwumara kubu gata, obutoke ingabu satu na ulioko ufu na nkote emu. Na ikati otunda nkota emu ye toke, nevira nga ye malidira. Nkota nga makumi ya abiti. Kumetuwa levili evili no jamu emetuwa lana. Isinjiro is growing a lot of hybrids. Mukono, Kayunga area, the southwestern region in Hoima and Wulindi and Wundibujo. They are growing our hybrids. They are spread all over the country, even in northern Uganda. We have introduced them in northern Uganda, and they are being highly adopted by the farming communities. I'm Dr. Kenneth Akankwasa. I'm an agricultural economist by training, and uh, I work for National Agricultural Research Organization. Much of the work I do is on farm research. For the last 18 years, I've worked on the banana crop, National Banana Research Program, promoting uh, new technologies to the farming communities, and mostly focusing on uh, the issue of the food security, which has always been a threat in the country. Beyond the fruit, we are working on value addition for the fruit can be turned into other products. The stem can be turned into uh, other valuable products. It's being used to make fiber, fiber for carpets, fiber for even hair extensions, fiber for, for paper, fiber for making crafts. And also, uh, bananas are, have the economic value of uh, even producing uh, uh, the, 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 the environmentally friendly energy source, especially briquettes. 
something to do with the marketing of, uh, of hybrid bananas. It is simply needs patience. And I would say that it's a gradual process. Like other new technologies being introduced, you need to give it time and you let the adoption process take its course. And uh, the right way now to begin is the awareness creation. Because there is that mindset change that needs really to, to change for the consumers, for the end users to know the attributes that are associated with the hybrid bananas. Because I don't see any much difference between the hybrid varieties and the local materials that we have in, in the country. Then uh, we also work on dessert bananas, improving the dessert bananas. The the, the Skalindizi, which is a dessert banana eaten ripe. It is heavily affected by a disease called Fusaria wilt. We are working on that as well. Today we have some hybrids that are not yet released, but they have read, we have already proved that they have resistance to that disease. They are being evaluated with farmers, and uh, in not more than two years, we'll be having that hybrid also coming onto the market to tap into the, the, the regional market of dessert bananas but also in the global market of dessert bananas. One advantage I have seen with the, the hybrid bananas in areas where they were introduced, they can easily be manageable, especially to the lesser farmers, because we always find a struggling banana plant in an abandoned area, which is difficult for, for it to happen for other local bananas. It can be much cheaper investing in, in, in hybrid banana production compared to the local varieties. Banange mbasawa mwena mwje, ewe toke tuwirina, ewe mtwenti seveni, nalo bani fo, ewe mnaini, chiwangazi, mwje tuwirina mwunji, ewe wafe na kaseke district, ewe kasaga vireji. Mama banana nakazijuli yetu wendi nyao.